Good morning and welcome to the Witcher Math channel. It is quite early and I think I can squeeze this in before I go to bus duty. Here came a question on a very recent video I just posted this week. I introduced the concept of inverse operations just at a very basic level as a strategy for solving single variable equations. And the question came in, thanks for watching. I'm protecting your identity. What do you do if it starts with division? With the denominator, what do you do? So, short answer in response to that, here are two examples of what you could mean, situations you could encounter. I could have the top, the numerator, be a variable, or, you guessed it, I could have the denominator be a variable. We'll just use x to keep it simple. Now what this actually means is some number that we don't know yet divided by 4 is 9. Think about it. Do it in your head. What is it? Good. We know it's 36. How do we know it's 36? So we're thinking this, you did something in your head there, and you knew it was 36, but how do you do it algebraically? Since this is saying x divided by 4 is 39, what's the inverse operation of division? Multiplication, right? Which can look like that, or a dot, or parentheses, however we want to do it. And what we learned in class was to do both sides. Whatever you do, there's no wrong answer, but do it to both sides. So we're going to multiply both sides by 4. You can see what's going on. You see what's happening. We already know it's 36. And the reason we multiply by 4 is that turns that denominator into the denominator of 4 over 4. And now we're left with x over 1, which means 1x. And that solves that one. Now the other flavor is, speaking of flavors, let's go orange. This one says 25 divided by some unknown number is 5. You're thinking it, right? You can say it out loud. You know what x is. But you also know we're learning an algebraic process here. We have to make sense of it at the most basic level to make sense of it at a complicated level. So 25, let me use the same system I just used. I know I can't decide on a color today. 25 divided by x is 5. And we're thinking, what are we thinking? Look at that, great minds think alike. We're thinking it's five, and it is, there's no denying it, but let's show how to get five. So just like up here, we multiplied by the denominator. Just that? No, both sides, right? We multiplied by the denominator, both sides, which means the x cancels out or turns to 1, x divided by x is 1, and we're left with 25 equals 5 times some number. Now you might think this is a long way to go just to get something I already know what it is, and we'll pick this apart after I finish this. So now just like we learned, what do we see? I see multiplication happening, so what do I do? Division. So it turned it into two steps but hopefully two steps that make sense. There's what we thought, and we did it. Okay, let's look. Now that we have the short answer, the short answer is multiply both sides by the denominator. And the longer answer would be, let's look at what's the visual impact here. Is there some kind of shortcut now that we know how to do it and why it works? 
Is there some kind of visual shortcut we can use? Started here with uh, x over 4 equals 9, and what we ended up with was x equals 9 times 4. So the denominator, instead of being something we're dividing by, moved to the other side and became something we're multiplying by. So the visual impact was the 4 was there, now it's here, and instead of dividing, we're multiplying. Boom! I think you could trust that and do that every time. And this is a perfectly fine way of showing your work. If you have a teacher who's kind of a curmudgeon about that, like me. Okay, let's look at the visual impact over here. Is it kind of the same? We started with um, some number divided by something we don't know about equals 5. Let's see if the visual impact is the same. We take that denominator over here. We're dividing. And we do the inverse operation. We multiply. The x came over there. So although it did not finish the problem, when the x was in the denominator, it led us to a point where we could easily finish it by then dividing, as you see in gray right there. And that is it. Thank you for the question, unknown student that I know, but I'm protecting your identity and your social security number. Bye for now. Take it easy. Happy learning. Ask me some more questions. I'll make some more videos. Thank you.